fortune favors the bold. You can't be shy around women. You need to grab whatever confidence you have, whatever level of courage that you have, and just take action and say something and be honest that you like this girl. Being shy and being, you know, taking your time with it, it makes you just seem less attractive. And I know what you're thinking, and you can probably relate to, you know, my story. That, oh, no, but, you know, it doesn't feel right, and it's not the right time. I'm going to wait for the right time to say something. But the thing is, when you're, like, a certain level of guy, when you don't have that much of experience with girls, or you're not that confident, you're always going to feel this level of resistance before you're about to, like, speak to a girl and tell her that you like her. Courage is when you feel that feeling of fear, but you do the thing anyway. You have to understand that you have inside of you this emotion that's telling you, like, oh, no, but it's going to be scary if we talk to her. But you can do the action even if you feel this emotion. You don't need to feel absolutely fine to go speak to her. You just need to do the action no matter what you're feeling. Girls are attracted to like courageous, confident guys who even if they're experiencing some kind of negative, fearful emotion, do the hard work anyway. And you might be thinking, but Hamza, I'm scared of rejection. Well, yeah, of course you are. Rejection is like a totally scary thing, but only really for the first 50 rejections of your life. By now, you watching this, you probably experienced rejection maybe 10 times in your entire life, maybe 20 times. Obviously, like online texting shit, like, you know, some girl that you've never even met before on Tinder or something stops replying to your message. That doesn't count. But like a real rejection of you walking up to a girl, saying something in the sense that you like her and then her saying, oh, no, sorry, I've got a boy for her. Most young guys have only been rejected like three times and it hurts so significantly, but the pain of rejection starts up here and it goes down dramatically dramatically with every single one that you get and I promise you that any of the guys who are slightly older than you who are quite experienced with women and you know who get like quite a lot of girls have been rejected by 10 times as many as you can think. Honestly I may have been rejected by probably close to 300, 400, 500 somewhere around that range in person. In person. And that's not even including like the random times that like some girl on Instagram or Tinder that like doesn't reply to your message. To be good with girls honestly a lot of it is just quantity. It's just a lot of practice. How is it that girls actually want you to talk to them? They just want you to like be honest and upfront with what you actually want from her. So many guys, especially the younger guys who don't have much confidence, like you go about it in this like just this pussy kind of way where you just kind of act like you don't really like her for, for what for what reason? What gain is there for you to pretend that you don't really like her and that you've got no interest in her? You know, th there's the kind of cool Chad looking guy who doesn't act but just isn't really that interested in her and that's kind of attractive. But when it's inauthentic, when you are actually obsessively thinking about this girl and you try and act too cool and like pretend like, oh, I'm not going to speak to her. Oh, like, I'm going to wait till the right time. It's not attractive, bro. And the reason why we do that, the reason why we don't go and speak to these girls is because we're just scared of rejection. Because we're scared of like the bad thing that could happen because we feel quite fearful. You can't be scared of rejection because regret hurts more than rejection. Not speaking to that girl that you randomly see that one time that you could have cold approached hurts more than you just going up to speak to her and her just saying, oh, sorry, I've got a boyfriend. 